In a letter today to faculty and staff, University of Arizona President Robert Robbins says the university tried to get the Pima County Attorney's Office to bring charges against the suspected gunman in the weeks and months before the deadly shooting on campus on October 5th. Tonight, the Pima County Attorney is responding to the university's claims. News for Tucson's Eric Fink is live on campus for us tonight with the details. Eric. Sean, well, the university says it was aware of the threats allegedly made by Murad Dervish to Professor Tom Meixner and others. Tonight we are learning about two specific complaints from the U of A involving Dervish. Now the Pima County attorney coming forward saying those incidents failing to show enough evidence to charge Dervish with a crime. In February, the university says it started the process to expel Murad Dervish for his behavior towards university faculty and staff. He was formally expelled in June and permanently banned from the U of A. But Dervish continued to contact professors and personnel. In a letter to faculty and staff Monday, University President Robert Robbins said, This past April, UAPD filed a complaint with the Pena County Attorney's Office in hopes of charging Dervish for alleged threats Dervish made to a faculty member. The university says the county attorney's office didn't pursue charges. Then, shortly after that, the police, according to the letter from President Robbins, showed up at Dervish's home to talk with him about threats made to university staff. Fast forward to August, when Robbins says the university started to put Dervish's emails to faculty in a separate account so they could be reviewed by police. It was in September when the university tried for a second time to get charges filed against Dervish for threats and intimidation. Once again, Laura Conover and her team declined to press charges. In a statement Monday night, Conover says her office thoroughly reviewed the complaints, but both of them lacked the facts to bring criminal charges against Murad Dervish. Conover saying, quote, our office bases criminal charges on the evidence presented, which must rise to the constitutional standard of proof beyond a reasonable doubt. The complaints brought by UA police in April and again in September did not have sufficient proof to meet that standard, and therefore no charges were filed. Conover goes on to mention red flag laws, saying, quote, Red flag laws in effect in nearly half the states vary regarding their rules and enforcement but they provide opportunity to remove guns from the hands of those who were known to present a threat to themselves or others. A red flag bill failed to pass in Arizona. And President Robbins saying that the university will conduct an independent review of what happened. He also added that in the coming weeks, members of the administration will be talking to faculty and staff at every college on campus to listen to their concerns about campus safety. We're live tonight at the U of A. I'm Eric Fink, News 4, Tucson.